Welcome at the unboxing of the M-Audio Mobile Pre. Pro Tools SE recording included and it's all made by Avid. It's a small USB interface that I bought especially for video production on my Mac Mini that you can see over there. So let's open the box and see what is in it. I haven't got a clue. I haven't opened it yet. There might as well be a brick in it. That would make a funny video. But we're lucky. There's DVDs in it. Drivers documentations and the Pro Tools SE software. And some manuals that you never know need. I'm curious about the Pro Tools software and there's a USB cable included which is nice and I need it. It saves me from unhooking other USB stuff or buying a new cable. It's a nice long USB cable. And there's the interface itself and the packaging material is all carton so that can go into the waste paper bin and can be recycled which is nice. But let's see if it all works because otherwise I need the box to send it back. As you can tell it's a nice size interface. It's not too big and it's not too small. It'll fit in most bags and you won't lose it in your pocket. Let's start at the back. Any good engineer wants to start at the back. Line outputs, line inputs 1 and 2, USB, phantom power on and off. On the front is the selection uh, buttons for which input to use. Direct monitoring, latency free monitoring, headphone jack, power light, phantom power light indicator, a multifunctional inputs for uh, a jack plugs or XLRs. Then on the top, the channel 1, channel 2 gains, headphone gain and the line out gain and the knobs feel nice and chunky. It's a bit plasticky but what can you expect? It's a it's a cheap interface and I'm not expecting too much. But it feels nice. It feels feels solid. It's it feels okay. Here you can see the mobile pre-installed, all the indicators work, there's audio coming in and out of the computer, it's plug and play on a Mac, no problem. Installing Pro Tools however took a long time.